Well, I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I uh, came across a glitch that uh, I think is pretty serious and maybe somewhat telling. So I'm going to talk to you about that on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. I really wasn't planning on making a video today. I was going to go and pick up some, some stuff to uh, resell and uh was just kind of tinkering with the accounts i have two accounts and uh jenna had come in and asked me about a couple items that she was trying to cancel um the uh non-paying buyer okay we have a couple items on the second account that uh was agreed to be purchased via best offer back on the 14th and another item on the 17th however uh when we went to go cancel of course it doesn't give the option now when you look deeper it shows that the date they agreed to buy it was on the 22nd of may at 9:05 a.m and 9:06 a.m which is impossible and we checked the email anytime you get a sale on ebay you get an email sent saying hey you made the sale or someone agreed to buy your item and you can find the exact date then and it just so happens that we have two items. We have a uh, just an album, just an Al Stewart album. I don't know who the heck Al Stewart is, but um, that was purchased or agreed to be purchased uh, back on the 17th of May. And we have a pair of uh, military boots that uh, someone had agreed to buy on the 17th of May, actually the 14th of May. And uh, the emails confirm that. Okay, and we even sent invoices on the 21st, yet eBay has these items as being purchased or agreed to be purchased on the 22nd, which is yesterday, um, a day from me making this video. So I tried to call eBay, and guess what happens? The, the number that I have that can get me over to an agent uh, is now asking me to put in my phone number. And when I do put in my phone number to confirm, it says, okay, thank you. And then it wants me to tell the, the voice automated system why I'm calling. And then it wants to offer me a resource on uh, ebay.com for me to go in and type in to find the answer to my problem. Now you guys know we're dealing with a glitch here. There's not gonna be anything on ebay.com that's going to confirm that. So I went on the website on uh, help and contact uh, under chat and then you just basically type in have someone call me. And then you confirm your details and someone from Manila calls you. Now, I, I can't make this up, guys. Uh, I wouldn't even make, I wouldn't even think to make this up. Even if I tried, I couldn't make this up. So I called, spoke to a representative at the Philippines. You know how they're overly happy to talk to you. Um, and it's one of those things where you're wondering if they're even listening to what you have to say. Um, because she basically told me I had to wait four days. Uh, or three more days to cancel these items due to non-payment. And so again, I explained myself. I said, look, we sold these um, over like a week ago, uh, at least with the boots. Um, with the other item, we sold it like six days ago, um, or at least they agreed to buy it six days ago. Um, now, why did you guys go in and change the date to the 22nd of May? And she had to put me on hold. Well, let me put you on hold. Okay, so let me talk to an expert. So they put you on hold. They come back after two minutes, tell you that they're going to have to put you on hold again. That's fine. And uh, they came back and pretty much said that I have to wait three more days. And how if um, I would have gone in on the 19th, uh, I could have canceled it then. That makes any sense. So she essentially told me I had to do time travel to... Uh, go back in and cancel my item and I asked her how is that even possible I said what you're telling me is just ridiculous right now um, I don't know if you're telling me this to get me off the line but um, I checked my main account and I found two items that the dates were altered there as well and it's not eligible for me to go in and to uh, you know cancel due to non-payment so essentially, I just said, look, it's obvious I'm not going to get the help I need here. Um, you know, nobody even offered to uh, put in a ticket for a glitch um, because this is a glitch, guys. Uh, it's happened on both of my accounts where if you go into your items that have not been paid for, uh, items awaiting payment, you will see that 
um, the date has been changed. Now, it, uh, one of my accounts, it was changed to the 22nd of May, like yesterday, uh, as the date that the uh, buyer agreed to buy the item, which is the date that the system looks at to uh, calculate the four days when you're able to cancel. So they gave those buyers more time. And then on my other account, uh, they gave the 21st um, as one date, even though it's been almost a week. And uh, on another item, it was yesterday, they gave the 22nd of May as the date. And it should have been uh, today, the date that I was able to uh, go in and cancel based on when they purchased it or agreed to buy it. So uh, if it's happening to two accounts that I've seen, Chances are you are waiting on payment um, from buyers and it may not happen. Now, why, why is eBay changing the dates? Um, is it a glitch or is eBay doing this on purpose? Now, the problem is eBay doesn't communicate with us. So I don't know if it's eBay doing it on purpose. Maybe there's a payment issue and they're giving buyers more time. And that's quite possible. Uh, we've heard a lot of things over the last couple of weeks where buyers we're not able to finish payment. And it very well may be that buyers are not able to buy these items. So eBay's decided to go in and give them more time, which I'm fine with, but communicate with us, okay? Let us know, hey sellers, this is what's going on. You will see that we're giving your buyer more time and please be patient while we work out the kinks so they can pay for your item, okay? or. If you don't wish to, to wait anymore, um, here's uh, a way to cancel and it's not gonna hurt your account, okay? So yeah, that's what's happening. And you know, hopefully you saw the, the, the screenshots that I've provided for you um, to go in and see for yourself that it's the same item, the same buyers, okay? So it's not possible for a buyer to agree to buy my item on the 14th Yet eBay's saying they agreed on the 22nd. That's a glitch, guys. And, you know, here's the deal. Um, I make these videos not to complain. This is not a complaint. I expect eBay to make uh, our lives a little bit more difficult when we're selling, okay? This is just a way to let you guys know that this is going on. Because maybe you haven't noticed it. Because uh, certainly it's something I could have noticed yesterday if I was looking for it. Because uh, yesterday is the date that they reset these items to. But, you know, doing a little account maintenance and wouldn't you know, it's <laughs> right in front of my eyes there. Um, like I know that this item should have been purchased by now, but yet eBay is saying that this was agreed to be purchased yesterday. That, that other account that, uh, you know, uh, we found the two items waiting to be purchased, that, that account has been slow. And I don't know if it's because uh, the type of items again, those aren't the greatest items that we're selling. We are putting up some military stuff We have put some military stuff up on that account But for now, it's just a lot of the same and that's fine I, That 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 account to me is more of a clearance aisle. You guys know that it's more of a place I can test things rather test things on that account than my main account um, Just to kind of get an idea of how certain things uh you know, work, maybe uh, trying some, some free shipping on larger items, uh, building up the price of the item to absorb the cost of the shipping label. Little experiments like that. And, uh, you know, I, I don't expect a whole lot from that account, but at the end of the day, when I'm getting a sale here, a sale there, and then I go to nothing, I get no sales, um, not even getting offers anymore. And the offers that I have accepted a week ago, uh, eBay doesn't even know really when those offers were accepted and thankfully eBay gives us the ability to go back check our emails so if you're doing this research on your own to see you know it may show you that a buyer has agreed to purchase your item on the 21st 22nd go back to your emails do a search for that title in the email and it should pop up a uh, message saying uh, buyers agreed to purchase your item and it'll show you the date and time that you receive that email. Match it up with what eBay's showing. Um, I'm wondering, put down below if you come across that. Uh, I know it can't be just isolated to me, guys. We're talking about two diff very different accounts. Um, you know, if it was just one account, my other account didn't have it, I wouldn't be making this video. But I think it's more widespread. And 
it, it, it's telling, it really is. Beyond the glitches, it tells me, and my hunch is that this is why, partially why, uh, maybe our sales are slower than they probably should be because buyers can't pay for our items. And eBay's giving buyers more time because they know that there's a problem, yet they won't communicate with that, that to us. And, you know, hey, look, I might be 100% wrong here, but because eBay fails to communicate, all we can do is draw our own conclusions. And that's what I'm doing here. So maybe just starting up a conversation with you guys, you know, it's, it's frustrating. If I'm being really honest with you guys, it's frustrating because um, I want eBay to succeed. But when I call and, you know, instead of saying, okay, it sounds like a glitch, Okay, let's be on the same page. It sounds like a glitch. Let's go ahead and log this in as a glitch so our tech team can try to work on it, right? No, instead, she starts talking about how I need to go back to the 19th of May and put in a cancellation request due to non-payment. How do you do that? And I can't make that up, guys. And it's frustrating when you get that level of lack or incompetent service and Honestly, aside from logging in and logging out, that call center at in Manila, I think there's two actually from what I was told, they need to shut it down. You know, um, get the US reps, hire more if you have to, and uh, get some real answers. But until then, those reps are only interested to get you off the phone and guess, right? In this case, it was a really ridiculous guess and didn't even make sense to me. And I had to ask her, is that what you're asking me? And she said, yes. And I asked her, how do you do that? How do you go back into time? Okay. So I said, you know what? I said, we're done here. I said, we can't even figure this thing out because you're giving me ridiculous uh, information at this point. And uh, that's where I left it. So I'm, I'm talking to you guys now. Um, you know, no way to fix it until eBay figures out there's a glitch. Okay. And they can't figure it out if they're not making uh, logging the complaint. But at least I can come to you guys and let you know that uh, this is happening. So if you're sitting on an item, maybe you're waiting for the payment, and I don't know, maybe you do uh, cancel due to uh, buyer request, but the buyer's really not requesting it. But what else do you do uh, if you really have to get that item relisted? I'm just gonna wait it out, I guess. I'm not gonna go that route just yet. But if they keep kicking the can down the road to give the buyer more time, yet the buyer hasn't even messaged me to say, hey, look, I can't pay for it. Um, I don't even know if that's what's happening. It may be just the buyers being a deadbeat and they don't want to pay for it. So again, another glitch and another moment where sellers are left in the dark and are left to guess as to what's going on. So if you enjoyed this content, if this content is somewhat helpful, maybe an eye opener, hit the like button, guys. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content on this channel. And you know what? Hit that notification bell so when we go live or uh, make another video, uh, you're going to be notified as soon as uh, it happens. Now, a programming note, I still don't know about Friday's live. I'm still waiting to figure out if I'm going to have uh, the four pallets sent to me. Um, you know, my buddy in the trucking industry says he's kind of working on that. But if not, it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to have to shoot down on Friday to uh, load some of this stuff into my car, my SUV, and uh, two pallets in his truck. And I guess we're just gonna leave a pallet there until the next time I go back to California. Uh, it's not ideal at all, but uh, you know, sometimes when you're getting a deal, I'm getting uh, four pallets of, of this merchandise for 600 bucks. And that's everything. That's uh, the cost of getting it out here. So uh, it's dirt cheap for me and it's worth sitting on some of this product. Um, it's one of those, it's, it's long tail stuff, but it's a few SKUs, like maybe five or six SKUs. And we're talking hundreds of uh, individual items that uh, I think have some demand. So uh, maybe I'll show you guys a little bit more once I get it here. But that's kind of what is going on and why I don't know for sure if we're going to have the live. So as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. So glitches they're gonna keep happening guys just when we, you know we went a, I went a week without finding a glitch or dealing with eBay problems and it was a beautiful week okay 
but uh, you know get up this morning get the shipping done and just trying to do a little account maintenance before I get out here to list and uh, no surprise to me I'm gonna find these uh, these glitches but it's yet another example of how in this business especially if you sell on eBay how flipping ain't easy and I want you guys to have an excellent rest of your day and we will talk to you very soon Thank <laughs> you.